Podcast. Brought to you by Freeplay Human Power Devices, cat5.tv slash freeplay. That's something that Wet Pulse also gives you as a, a heat map, which is kind of interesting to see where, uh, where you're typing a lot. When I saw my heat map, I realized I really should switch from QWERTY to Dvorak. And you'll remember I started talking about that, Pyrus Rock, you, you remember, but uh, never could get to that point where I could take two weeks off, basically, to learn Dvorak mm-hmm. because I'm a programmer. And there's no way I could program 10 words per minute. Like, I type 180. So for me to sit down and, and slow and myself learn. down like that, just can't do it. Um, I want to, though. So what is that? <laughs> uh, the different. So QWERTY, you look at your keyboard, yeah. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Yeah. That's the, the positioning of the character. So that's what we're used to, the Al- <laughs> Almina kind of key set. Yeah. So that's where the keys are located. Dvorak... Well, QWERTY was designed for typewriters. I knew that, actually, so that they don't jam up, So right? they don't jam up, right, yeah. um, because they did the mathematics and some genius figured out that you're probably going to be rotating between left and right, left and right. So when these things are going, they're going like this. They're never going like that at the same time and getting clogged. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of brilliant. But now that we're on computers, it's really stupid, really, that we're using QWERTY keyboards and on our phones and stuff. It doesn't make a lot of sense because we don't have that problem anymore. Mm-hmm. Dvorak was developed, the different keyboard layout, to make more sense to the computer user. Because we don't have the problem of keys jamming, it is basically an ergonomic thing. So it's better for you physically to be typing in Dvorak rather than QWERTY. QWERTY will cause carpal tunnel syndrome and all different kinds of issues if you type a lot. I found a way to rule. Yeah? I'm going to learn it. Apparently, if you learn Dvorak really well, you'll be way faster. I'd be afraid of the flames oh, yes. if I learned to type Dvorak. I am doing this. I'm going to search. Gonna Can I just find the Dvorak keyboard well, any old Jot's, place? You see Jot's keyboard, right? That's uh-huh. QWERTY. Mm-hmm. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. That's yeah. what it means. So let's just get onto Google, let's say. And uh, we'll type in Dvorak. <laughs> spell, I am it's spelled like that. Okay. Uh, simplified keyboard. Wikipedia should be safe. So see, it's a different layout. The keys are not where you would expect them to be. <laughs> Imagine the things I'll accidentally type to begin with. Oh, it'll be amazing. I'm doing this. Yeah. Oh. The A is in the right right place. My hands Everything are else, sweating. It looks like M it. is possibly in the right place too. Everything else is kind of crazy. This is going to be fun. I think the colon would take a long time to get used to. Did you slash is in the normal place. Did you learn how to type with Mavis Beacon? I, the online I did game? a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. When, yeah so. And uh, Mario teaches typing way back. No, I, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just going to undo everything Mavis taught me and I'm going to learn Dvorak. Exactly. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.